In the engineering halls of the Warwick Manufacturing Group, a championship robot designed to find and rescue people trapped by an earthquake, although only in simulated disaster zones for competitions so far. It has to navigate over different terrains uh, such as the step fields, uh, ramps, stairs and in then the met of using the sensors on the robot we will uh, try and find the, the victims. This team of Warwick students will be the third to reinvent this rescue robot, this time using some Midlands kit called Kinect. As we've reported, Kinect is an accessory for the Xbox video game console, partly developed by Rare in Birmingham. It's designed to track the flailings of people playing games, but the robot researchers see other possibilities. Connect doesn't just see the students, for example. The different colours indicate distance away from the sensor itself. The Connect is designed to really be a cost-effective solution to mapping the arena. We've had in the past some 2D mapping capabilities which have been quite expensive and uh, the Connect is really based on uh, the price and so we've been able to cut down the cost from about £3,000 to £120. But I know what you're thinking. How useful would a robot like this be in the real world? Surely in a real disaster it couldn't, say, drag somebody from the rubble of a collapsed building. Now the hard work begins on upgrading the robot and preparing for the first competition in Germany this Easter. We won the competition last year, so we're quite confident that we're still going to be the best. And then none you're really worried about a little bit? No, no major not really, no. no. We'll keep you posted on how they do. David Gregory, BBC Minutes Today, Coventry.